The word suit, the word, is no. I am therefore going anyway. Well, that, of course, is the venerable James T. Kirk telling people the word is no because you have so many giant fans thinking the tank's on, but the only person that they didn't tell were the New York football giants as they cruise past the Washington Commanders. Well, we really didn't cruise past them, but we like to just say it like that because you know what? Normally, the last couple weeks, we've been saying after the debacle. This is now after the big win. I think it's kind of interesting. I think this is kind of funny. I was thinking about it. When was the last time Daniel Jones had three touchdown passes in a game? Wasn't it back in December 22nd of 2019? 48 games ago. But we gave him $160 million. And you know what the funny thing is? We got a new guy. We got a new gunslinger called Tommy DeVito. Let's not get too crazy, Giant fans, please. (laughs) It was against the Washington Commanders. But in honor of Tommy DeVito... Jersey Shore Tommy Wait till the beat drops Oh yeah It's Jersey Shore Tommy time Coming in, wrecking shit for New York Giant fans Wrecking shit for the draft Winning a game against the Commanders team That I thought we were going to win I was hoping we weren't going to win, but I thought I thought we were I thought we were going to win it. Uh, I had my fingers crossed we weren't, but that's that's okay. You know what? That'll make this p- game against the Pats a little bit more interesting now. But I I just have to laugh c- for a minute because of that. You have to think about this logically, though. You gave Daniel Jones a hundred and sixty million dollars. <laughs> you got a kid that basically is coming in off the street. Yeah, he was in training camp. Yeah. He he made he didn't make the team out of camp. He's when I was on the practice squad. He's only playing vis-a-vis injury. But he comes in, throws for 280, throws for three touchdowns, finds Saquon Barkley, of all people. Finds him in the passing game? That's well, that's just ludicrous. What other quarterback would ever do that? Oh, Eli Manning. I forgot. He had 70 he had 70 receptions or something like that. Some crazy shit like that his rookie season. Because he had an actual quarterback throwing him the ball. Is Jersey Shore Tommy an actual quarterback? I'm not saying he's an actual quarterback, but I am going to say this. I think he's a guy that is a a, a third-string quarterback. I think if you're going to rely on him for an extended period of time, we're going to be <laughs> we're not going to be good. But he's a guy you're not going to build around. So I think the craziness of some people that are like, well, this 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 is one of those games that it's a build-on game. We don't need to go out and draft a quarterback. What it should tell every single Giant fan, what it should tell John Mara, what it should tell Joe Shane, what it should tell Brian Dable, is that you got a kid off the street that came in and won you a game and threw for more touchdowns in one game than your star franchise $160 million quarterback has done in 48 you can no longer sit there and tell me Daniel Jones is the future of this organization. Daniel, we have to look. We have to look at Daniel Jones because of the fact that if you don't, you know, we we won't have a quarterback really because we just found a kid. We literally just found a kid. You can have Eli Manning come out and make all the videos you want because you know the Mares did that. I want to just play this video because I love this video. Hold on, this is this is the Eli Manning hostage video. Because you could, you want to tell Eli, Eli, blink twice if you need us to come and save you. Last year, they made a decision. They, they, they saw Daniel Jones. They're around him. They had him for a year, and they trusted that, hey, this is a kid that has a, a bunch of upside. Where's the upside, Eli? Jersey Shore Tommy just came in and wrecked that theory. Still, you know, in the first year of the offense, played extremely well. Extremely well. All of his stats under league average. Fine. He's tough. Uh, he- tough. He went out with a neck and now an ACL. Make the throws. We watched him throw. Now, of course, go to the venerable pro football focus. Last year, he was seven for 13, even though most people had triple the attempts. You know, unfortunately, this was a, a, a tough year, you know, with tough year because the quarterback sucked. Freeze with, uh, with this, the way, it, the way it went. And so I think they, you know, you still got to trust your core. Eli, if you need to be saved, blink twice. Uh, he's going to come back. He's going to be healthy. He works hard. He's a great teammate. He does all the intangibles. I've said this before. I don't care if you work hard. I don't care if you're a great teammate. I'd rather have an asshole who can read defenses. Really, really well. 
And I think they, you know, got to trust him Can put some guys. Yes, we should trust him because it's worked out so well in year five. We should go now to year six with Tommy DeVito nipping at his heels. Tommy DeVito is like that little puppy. He's like that little dog that nips at your heels. That li- not a puppy, but like, like a shit zoo. He nips at your heels. And, and that's what, kind of what he's going to do right now to Daniel Jones. You know, get, get help around him uh, and continue to grow with these teams. I think when you sign, you know, your, your key guys to contract Saquon, you didn't sign Saquon. You actually tagged him. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, you know, Daniel, you know, sign a Waller. Like you put these guys, you keep got to adding guys around them and, and fit it. You know, you don't just say, Hey, you know, switch it up right away. It's been five years, Eli. How are you switching it up right away? Literally explain that to me. How are you switching it up right away when it's been five years? Now it's going to be year six. And Tommy DeVito has done something that Daniel Jones has not done in 48 games since his rookie season. Could you explain that to me? I got it. We got, we got, we got Jersey short Tommy on the sideline uh, walking off the field. We got, we got to hear this Jersey juice, baby. Big blue. Jersey. Jersey. It's a big dub. That's right. That, that's big. That's Jersey Shore Tommy walking off the field with Saquon Barkley, and now we have to we have to hear uh, we have to hear the speech, the post game speech by Brian Dable. You guys are aware we, we we've only won three games, right? I asked three things last night. I asked great communication, player to player, coach to coach, player pimp to pimp. Sorry, coach coach to player. All right, checkbox. I asked unmatched energy and competitive toughness. For 60 minutes, checkbox. Mm-hmm. All right, and I ask next play mentality. Enjoy this win, guys. That's a division win on the road. Mm-hmm. All right, and we're a good football team. Make no mistake. Yeah, because that three and eight record is just uh, what you call. It. That's an aberration. We're what five and whatever, five twelve and something since the middle half of last year. But okay, okay, Joe. Oh, Joe, sorry. Okay, okay, Brian. About it, we're a good football team. Defense and special team, six turnovers, man. That's a great problem. Defense has rocked it out. Wink's defensive gives them a lot of points, but you know what? They do get the pressure. Let's keep stacking them, man. Hey, let's celebrate this one today, though. Hey, Giants on me, Giants on three. One, two, three, Giants. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I remember being in losing locker rooms and being on a bad team. We didn't really celebrate garbage wins. But that's that's all right. You know, this is what we got. This is what we have. This is going to be the craze of New York Giants Nation. I love it. It's going to be the 246 yards, three touchdowns, and a one uh, 137.7 passer rating for Jersey. Jersey. Sure. Tommy. Wait for the beat drop. Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that until we lose. <laughs> the good news is I don't think we're going to lose against the, uh, I don't think we're going to lose against new England. I think that's a good thing. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't think we're going to lose against new England. You got to give Isaiah Simmons with that nice pick six. That was the D line forced it and he th- threw it into coverage. Sam how Sam how has his moment. Sam how looks good at times. And then Sam how looks like Sam how. Oh, love it. Or just call him Thurston Howell. Um, but like I said, this, this, you have to now look at this and it just really point to the fact that Daniel Jones just is not your guy. And, and I'm not trying to make this all about Daniel Jones, but at the end of the day, he's just not your guy. When Jersey shore, Tommy comes in and rocks it out for you and does something that Daniel Jones hasn't done in 48 games. And you gave him $160 million. That's crazy. That is just insane. And like I said, you keep putting up these garbage wins. It's going to lower our draft stock. And it's going to be more of an opportunity that Daniel Jones may potentially even come back. (laughs) Shudder the thought on that one, man. Uh, like I said, let's, let's listen to Brian. Uh, let, what is this? This is Brian Dable. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. That's that's I, I was, I was going to play a Brian Dable press conference, but I decided not to. 
Oh, this is just, this is just full of fun guys. Full of fun. I listen. I'm glad we won. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad we won as a season ticket holder. I'm glad you won. But like I said, if you, if you keep screwing up the future of this team and you keep relying on $160 million quarterback, who's not that good and can't stay healthy. And you think you're going to move forward with Jersey short, Tommy. I don't know what else to tell you, man. I really, I really don't. We got to hope. We got a will and we got to pray. We got to see what goes on. We'll have our live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday here to talk about it all. Make sure you tune in. And again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because you want to know why. That'd be awesome.